Well, I think, first of all, I'm very excited about the entire symposium. Uh, you have uh, got together a group of real superstars who will be coming uh, to present the latest work in the area. Uh, for me personally, um, the most interesting and exciting part of the, um, uh, of the uh, symposium will be the uh, discussion of the roles of the so-called oncohistones uh, in the uh, development of cancer. And I guess we will see as well whether these kinds of changes may also be important in the uh, generation of neurological disorders. So it's going to be a very exciting uh, um, program. And because we have such a strong interest uh, in epigenetics at the Van Andel Institute, this will be a, a great showcase uh, for some of the work that we're doing. And we'll be hearing from these world experts about exciting new avenues of research uh, down, down which we can uh, uh, move. Um, we've got very strong programs at the Institute in the field of uh, neurodegenerative science and in epigenetics. So this, this is uh, going to be a symposium uh, that is really going to have profound impact uh, on the way forward at the Institute. Well, what topics from Origins 2021 am I most interested in or excited about? Well, obviously, I'm a scientist who's focused on neurodegenerative disease. So I'm very interested in hearing about the intersection of risk factors for brain cancer and neurodegeneration. I think that's really a fascinating topic. You know, I have to congratulate you on, on the topic that you've chosen for this year's meeting because brain tumors and neurodegeneration are sources of major unmet medical needs. There's so much that is required to improve the situation for patients with these disorders. So that to start with is, is very important and exciting. I'm also very interested in, in how epigenetics can affect uh, brain tumors, uh, partly because of my interest in how neural stem cells, which can be contributors to brain tumors, also can be used in attempts to repair brains that have been damaged through neurodegeneration. So I can see some really interesting new knowledge that I'd love to hear about at this year's Origins of Cancer. Neuroinflammation and, and uh, brain cancer, obviously a hot topic, and similarly, a very hot topic in neurodegenerative disease. So once again, something that I'll be excited about. So there are lots of things that I'll be excited about at this year's Origins of Cancer. And how does Van Andel Institute uh, and the work done here support this topic? Well, I think this particular topic this year hits in three areas of strength for our institute, cancer, epigenetics, and neurodegenerative disease. So it's, it's a wonderful choice of a topic, and you have an exceptionally good program, and I very much look forward to hearing all the speakers and the discussion. I'm really looking forward to the Origins of Cancer Symposium this summer. Cancer research and Parkinson's disease research have been intertwined at the Institute for quite a number of years. Over those years, we've seen from our research and the work that goes on around the world that some of the genes involved in cancer are also involved in Parkinson's or other neurodegenerative diseases. Some of the pathways are similar to each other or overlap or intersect. Some of the systems connect with each other. Inflammation, for instance, is a major theme, both in how cancers develop and in how neurodegenerative diseases develop. So for this summer's Origins of Cancer Symposium, I'm excited to see how our visitors have explored these connections between cancer and neurodegenerative diseases and to see what the future might bring in, deeper, in more deeply understanding those pathways and in finding ways to better diagnose and better treat both cancers and neurodegenerative diseases. I'm also excited, of course, to see our graduate students as the leaders of this conference. They've designed the theme, they've identified the speakers, they've written to sponsors, and they'll be chairing these events. And I'm really eager to see 
them rising as biomedical research leaders in this symposium as well. I think the, the session that incorporates neuroinflammation is probably of the most interest to me. Uh, it's sort of a new area, and, and for those of us at Van Andel, it encompasses a lot of interest from across the various departments. Obviously, neuroinflammation with neurodegenerative disease has been a topic that's really been a focus of many labs here, and it seems like an, an obvious opportunity as that field develops for synergies with faculty in the Department of Cell Biology, Department of Epigenetics, uh, even the Department of Metabolism, certainly, uh, to try to understand those sort of um, cross fertilization opportunities that are out there to understand what the pathways are that are driving those effects uh, in terms of the inflammatory cells and those in things that uh, have effects on the microenvironment that may then also affect the cancer cells themselves.